Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a quite unknown composer from the 18th century called Franz Xaver Hammer. This name is hard to pronounce. <laughs> Franz Xaver Hammer was born in 1741 in Bavaria, in the city of Oettingen, uh, which is in Germany, of course. He was a wonderful cellist and Vira da Gamba player. He was a big virtuoso of the time. From 1771 until 1778, Hamma stayed at the court of Prince Esterhazy. Prince Esterhazy had these wonderful castles. One is today in Austria, uh, Schloss Esterhazy, in Eisenstadt, not far from Vienna, it's about um, uh, 40 minutes from Vienna. And the other one is today in Hungary, and it's called Esterhaza. And also the, the prince, was a, he loved music. So he had this wonderful court musicians and a very, very famous court orchestra. For example, Josef Haydn was there and um, Luigi Tomasini was there. Luigi Tomasini was an Italian uh, violinist and composer. So Hammer stayed at the court of Prince Esterhazy and we know today that he was highly paid for the time. This shows that he was very, very good as a musician and a famous soloist and virtuoso. So the prince would pay him a lot uh, so that he stays there and doesn't go away. Hammer was a wonderful composer too. And we know that during the first performance of Il Ritorno di Tobia by Josef Haydn, he played his own cello concerto. That was not uncommon for the time. Uh, they would mix composers, even though it was a premiere, uh, they would have other pieces in between. It's a little bit different than today. In 1778, he left the court of Prince Esterhazy and went to Pressburg, today Bratislava, to the court of um, Cardinal Count Vatiany. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. There also he was uh, highly paid as a virtuoso and he played his own compositions. In 1784, he went to the court of Count, I have to read this because it's a little bit difficult, so of Count Wendheim Tecklenburg zu Burgsteinfurt. So he stayed there just one year because 1785 he changed to the court of Duke uh, Friedrich Franz I at the court of Mecklenburg Schwerin zu Ludwigslust. So <laughs> uh, very difficult German names. So um, and. We see he changed the courts, he was invited to stay there as a soloist, he was highly paid and he was a quite known musician at the time. He also travelled many times to Prague and Berlin, which were very important musical uh, centres also at the time. From 1776 until 1813 he was also a member of the Tonkünstler Societät of Vienna, which is the Musicians' Society of Vienna. Uh, this society is similar to the Gesellschaft der Musikfreunde, which is uh, the one of the Musikverein. You know the Musikverein, the very famous uh, concert hall in Vienna, where you, uh, well, you, you watch a muse concert, this, this hall, wonderful place. So, and these two societies were founded to support the widows uh, and the children of composers and musicians, because at that time they wouldn't get money uh, from the state as today, you know, it was um, very, very different and difficult. So the societies would organize concerts and events and uh, collect money uh, to support and to help the, the families of musicians. Frank Saverhammer was one of the last big Viola da Gamba virtuoso. Karl Friedrich Abel was also one of the last ones, but he died 1787 and Hamma died later, he died 1817, so he died uh, during Schubert's time and Beethoven time. Franz Xaver Hamma left us wonderful music. We have sonatas for soul instrument with basso continuo, 
Bahim, Forcello, Viro da Gamba, or Viro d'Amore. Then we have concertos with orchestra, Forcello or Viro da Gamba. Um, he had a beautiful style. I really recommend you to listen to his music. There are some recordings. If, if you're a cellist, for example, a classical cellist, uh, I know that many cellists don't know this composer because he's quite unknown. So maybe just go uh, and look at his music because he composed wonderful pieces and it's a really, really beautiful music. It's a late Baroque, early classic style and very beautiful, very special and not easy because he was a virtuoso, so <laughs> also far too challenging. If you like this short video about unknown composers of the 18th century, uh, leave me a like and subscribe to my channel if you want, I would love it. So um, see you next time, bye, thank you! <laughs>